All right, now I don't know if Younger May is about to drop an album. She just putting out a single, or if this just a give me a give me away a give me away to me is basically um, a song to put out there to hold the fans over and our fans our supporters over until the album or tape drop or until the the first single drop or whatever whatever. But before we get into this song, Young and May, this is Quarantine Party. Um, like the video and also put down a request for the next one. Request videos are basically, you know what I'm saying, a song or video or album that you're basically telling me, hey, go check this out. I really rock with it. I think you should check it out. So you could potentially rock with it. Get to it, bro. Quarantine party. Now, I'm expecting this to be um, up there. I'm expecting this to be still rapping, but more and more like fun. Oh, she regret. I don't want to know if she regret saying Hennessy, you know what I'm saying, like kind of slick promoting it in one of her biggest songs, ooh, you know what I'm saying, I don't know if she, if it, if it was ooh or if it was something else, I'm just trying to see, I, I want to know if she, if she regrets saying it, you know what I'm saying, because if she potentially, obviously she didn't know that the song was going to go that crazy, but then she also didn't know that they potentially, obviously dealt, wasn't going to reach out, you know what I'm saying, because usually what happens is like, boom, if she would've had her own brand of like liquor or whatever the case, and that was going crazy selling off the shelves, and then she could've easily came to them and been like, all right, y'all see how my stuff doing, y'all see how this song went or whatever the case. And she kind of kind of basically went off that song to kind of get a Hennessy deal, but then at the same time, she wouldn't need a Hennessy deal because she would already have her own brand going good for herself. I'm just saying. She kind of even more popularized Hennessy even more than what it was when she put it out there. Even though the culture really put Hennessy on them, you know, like a lot of people saying Hennessy in their songs and stuff. Which I mean, I don't know. Good thing, bad thing. It's all about bags, I guess. Artists talk about bags and money and all that stuff. So it's like. Hennessy not paying nobody, you know what I'm saying? Hennessy not paying nobody because y'all giving them promotion, you know? You put out an album, a tape, you got 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 artists talking about Hennessy, and you not paying none of them as a business. Like, why, why should we pay, why should we pay you, even though you already just said us, or mentioned us, and your song is going crazy on the radio, you know what I'm saying? You just made us probably millions of dollars, you know what I'm saying, making that song over there. I think I should take the camera. Hmm? I think I should take the camera. Mm -hmm. You still doing videos. Huh? So you still doing videos. Are you doing it right now, right now? Not right now, I'm gonna take them out. See, just take them back in. Yeah, they not gonna be done by then. But I really don't need them because I still haven't edited the other videos. So that's the But uh, the reason why I added this clip before my videos is because I feel like people expect me to put the whole entire video inside of my video, which they could just go watch the actual video if they wanted to have or see the whole video. Tell them why though. Well, it's because of copyrighted reasons, you know what I'm saying? It's a copyrighted issue. You know, if you take, if you, if, if I get, if I want to make my own barbecue sauce, and I literally just steal the, their ingredients right off the back of the, the bottle or whatever the case, I could easily get sued. But if I use salt or some sort of other ingredient ex to add to it or maybe take away, then I easily could sell my own barbecue sauce. What?
I mean, I just need this video to be two minutes. That's why I was dragging out this long. But yeah. I look sexy. Excuse me? I'm sexy and I know it. I ain't got no kids, but I got hundreds, twenties, tens. Still got money coming in, got bitches coming with their friends. Sipping on some Hennessy at 10 a.m. Uh, and we gon' turn up in the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like she got comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Want to get out of her situation, so obviously she had to go hard doing it. You know what I'm saying, but I feel like once she once she got in, she also was kind of like not vibing how she vibing now. So I feel like now she like super comfortable. You know what I'm saying, and just vibe. You know what I'm saying, everything is strictly our vibes. That's what a lot of artists don't. They try to like do too much. If you go off your vibes, and you just like, but then again, a lot of artists be faking. You know what I'm saying? A lot of artists be like slick, like saying, like really not living or doing whatever they say. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like they could be like a a regular guy, right? Boom. And they try and make like straight hits. They try to make like straight radio records when they like a a real lyrical rapper, you know what I'm saying? Or a real conscious person. So y'all, you should be rapping about like conscious and just like situations and social topics and stuff like that not really trying to go straight hit records and platinums and radio vibes and stuff like that because that's just gonna make you as a person not feel too good i don't know but yeah you can see like growth in a young maid it's really crazy because i remember when i first did a couple of songs and i had got some it was crazy at the time when i first did it i don't know 